We're here in Baltimore, Maryland at the EMS Today conference. This is one of the largest EMS conferences in the world. And it's really great that Philips is here. We have a lot that's new with the Heart Start MRX and with STEMI Decision Support, QCPR. And we're here to talk to all of our great EMS customers about Philips leading the way in emergency care with meaningful innovation. We're also showing our second generation of QCPR on the Heart Start MRX. The current version of QCPR is already the most proven CPR measurement and feedback tool in the industry. We've also added a new CPR meter, which is the sensor that detects the quality of the compressions. You can actually see the quality of your compressions right on the patient's chest. My name is Sean Alex. I'm a firefighter paramedic for East Pierce Fire and Rescue in Washington State. We have the Philips MRX. They're all 12 lead capable QCPR. We uh, enjoy the machines. I really like them personally. It's a very user-friendly. QCPR has been helping us to, to make sure that with our CPR um, that we're doing the right rates, the right depths, to make sure that we're continuing to do good CPR to meet the new standards and hopefully a better outcome for our patients. Today we're announcing our new STEMI decision support tools. We now have the best 12-lead algorithm in the industry with a DXL algorithm that's on our cardiographs as well, but now it's also in the Heart Start MRX. My name is Mike Ford and I'm from the Berwyn Fire Company in Chester County, Pennsylvania. We've had the MRX for about uh, six months now. We're looking at the new QCPR. You can see what you're doing. You can even look right down on the uh, pad itself and see if you're going too far or you're not coming up far enough. Mostly what I'd be doing in the ambulance is compressions. It's helpful that we have a tool like this to give us feedback automatically and make things a little easier for us. We're also showcasing Philips Respironics Whisper Flow CPAP, which is continuous positive airway pressure. This is a mechanism that allows a paramedic to not have to intubate a patient. It's a non-invasive way that helps them quickly breathe much more easily uh, before they get to the hospital. If you don't intubate in the field, you don't necessarily have to intubate the patient when they get to the hospital. There's a lot of advantages for the patient and for the hospital too. My name is Jennifer Schuler. I am an EMT new paramedic. At Center for Medics we have a, a very advanced sim lab. We train you know, a lot of fire, a lot of rescue, Cambridge Rescue, and they like to see a lot of this stuff so they can make the right decisions for them. This actually drew my attention right away because uh, we use CPAP a lot. The current problem that we've had is getting a good seal because CPAP is dependent on having a good seal. The current masks are very difficult to put on and very uncomfortable for the patients and tend to ride up over their eyes. And I saw this right away. It actually seems to keep the mask below the eyes and off the bridge of the nose. And the gel is very different than the one that we have. We use CPAP so much and we've had so much success with it that any development in a, in a better fitting mask is the, is the main area that we're looking at. We are now offering periodic vitals transmission. It's not just for cardiac patients, it's for trauma, stroke, any type of patient that an emergency care a provider takes care of in the field. They now have more data that they can send ahead to the hospital. Vital signs, every waveform coming off of the Heart Start MRX now can be received by the hospital ahead of the patient's arrival. I'm Scott Isaacs, I'm the Division Chief of Emergency Medical Services for the Indianapolis Fire Department. We've recently switched to the electronic reporting system through Medusa. In the past, we've all had to read through written run sheets, pull the data out, you know, make lists and, and compile the data. You know, with the Philips software solutions where you can capture all the data, all the events um, through the beginning of the, the patient all the way through the, the transport to the hospital. And now we can just, you know, query a certain data point and pull it. And just within a matter of seconds, we've, we've gained what used to take us hours and days to do. Philips has, has put themselves in a position that they're, they're looking forward and in, in, in not just what's going on right now to, to set themselves up where this is the wave of the future. We also have an educational section in our booth with live presentations that have been publicized in advance. And we're uh, really pleased to have three different uh, physicians talking on different subjects related to uh, the products and solutions that we'll see in our booth from a clinician standpoint and a scientific standpoint uh, for educational purposes. It's a really exciting time for CPR quality and for the way we deliver resuscitation care and I think this expo really shows that there's a lot of interest in the topic and I think EMS is coming around to the notion that we can do a better job to resuscitate patients from cardiac arrest.